You're being filmed right now. He's claiming that he's taller than Reed, and he's not. I thought we were filming the outro! Like hey guys, it's Lauren. Right off the bat, this is my editing Instagram, and you should go follow it if you don't already. So today, I'm here with a special guest. You can introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Lauren's sister, Alex. Yes, and today I'm going to teach him how to use After Effects. I did a video like this with my best friend Allie back in the summer, but Allie definitely knows a lot more about editing than my brother. He actually had no idea what we were even doing today, so he has a lot that he has to learn. Do you know anything about the type Absolutely of editing? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You've never seen one of my edits? Never. No. Okay, do you know what After Effects is? It's what you do YouTube on. Okay, no, I don't even do YouTube on After Effects. I'm going to show you an example of one of my edits just so you can like get the feel for it. I have a headache. Okay, well this is, okay, it's more of the complicated ones. Okay, so these are basically what transitions are. And an edit is just comprised of transitions. So this is like a rotation, this is a slide right, this is a zoom in, simple, right? Okay, I'm just gonna show you the layout so you know what's going on, because this is very complex. A couple minutes into editing, I realized that my hair looks like this for the majority of the video. I spent like a half hour trying to blur it out frame by frame and I just could not do it anymore. So I'm sorry. I don't know if it's as distracting for you as it is for me, but I hate it. But please ignore because I was not gonna refilm this. So down here is the timeline. This is where all your pictures are, right? You see how like in the transition, it kind of gets blurry towards the end. That's to make it like really smooth. So you have to apply this thing called motion blur. So do you have any guesses as to where motion blur is? No. All right, it's this like little thing right here. So you're gonna click it and then once you click it, it turns blue. You have to like click all of these boxes here too so that you have motion blur. Do you know what a keyframe is? No, I know nothing. You know. Okay, Okay. so I'm, I'm gonna show you what a keyframe is here. Okay, so you see how this picture, it goes from zero degrees, it's just straight, and then it goes to 50 degrees, right? This is a keyframe for zero degrees. Well, it's like a marker basically. And then this is 50 degrees, right? But between the two keyframes you see it's like rotating little by little by, but what transition do you want to do first? I guess motion blur or whatever. That That's not a transition. Do the circle. Like, the rotation? Yeah. Do you want to do clockwise or counterclockwise? It doesn't matter. Clockwise. You always want to start your transition at the beginning of the clip. So like right there. If we're doing rotation, you hit R on the keyboard and then that shows up right here. How do you think we add a keyframe? Uh, There's like one button. Like look where? There's so many things right there though. Focus on here on the bottom. Click the rotation. Is that what you do? What, wait, what? Where do we click to add the keyframe? This. There's literally, it's literally right in your face. You see how there's like a little clock right next to where it says this? rotation? Yes, so click, click that. that. Yeah, click it. Since we're going into the rotation, we're keeping this at zero <coughs> degrees. Then you drag this blue thing, which is called the time indicator, to the very last frame, which is right here. And then you type in what value you want the rotation to be. So you can choose the value. What do you think? You choose. Wait, so what is it doing here? You type. Okay, so you see how here it says zero degrees, right? Because we are rotated zero degrees. Oh, okay, if you ch okay. Yes. I'll do the 50 that you said. Do you notice anything that looks wrong here? The black things. Exactly. We have to go to effects and presets, and then there's this effect called motion tile. So we drag that into the clip, and then it ends up right here. So what we have to do... What are you doing? What we have to do is increase the output width and the output height. And you can do like anywhere from like 200 to 300. I hope you remember this because you're going to have to do this all by yourself. And then you can click this box right here that says mirror edges. And instead of being like a tile, it turns into like a mirror. Now let's just like watch what we have and you can tell me like what's wrong with it. Way too fast. Way too, it's way too slow. Really? It's literally a millisecond. In my example, you can see how like it's slowly rotating in the beginning, it's like slow, clean. so slow. It, and then it gets really fast yeah. and that's because we have to make the growth between these two keyframes exponential Do you understand what I mean by that? Yeah Okay, so what we have to do is do something called easy ease where we're easing them that was literally disgusting You're gonna highlight both of them can you stop cracking your knuckles? It's a habit. It's a no, habit. and then you right click on one of them doesn't matter which one then you go to keyframe assistant and then you click on easy ease. I want you to do what I just did. Oh my god. Okay, so you already messed up. No, no. Where's the easy okay, ease? Okay, no, 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 no. Highlight both, right click on one of them, but you have both highlighted. All right, so do one. Highlight both of them. You Hi said highlight one. Hi no, no. Highlight both. Click on one. I don't like how you're getting very aggressive. No! Highlight both, right click on one. Keyframe assistant. Keyframe assistant. Yo! Dude, there's like four buttons and you don't know which one to choose. Keyframe I assistant. 
There's sick. no way you treated Ali like this. Oh no, I, I was like so mean to her. Easy ease. Easy ease. Like I have more patience with you because I know like, never mind. So now we have to make a graph. I, are you yawning? No, there's so much hair on your bed. <laughs> I shed. Okay, you click on one of the hourglasses and then you click on this little icon right here. It's right next to the motion blur. And this is our graph editor. There's, what do you think we're gonna wait, have to wait, do? There's so many things you just did right there. I clicked on two things. You click on one of the keyframes. Right. Click on this little icon right here. It's a graph. So remember what I said about an exponential graph? Okay. We have to turn this curve into an exponential graph. Alright, uh, easy. No, no, no. You grab the yellow knob. This? Yeah. No, you, yeah, you bring it to the bottom. No, no, but you have to keep it on the equator line. Okay, yeah, perfect. No, no, you have I to- I did it? You have to do that yellow knob too. No, okay, that push to the right. This to the right? Yeah, and then keep pushing that to the right. Keep pushing it, keep pushing it. Good, good, good. Okay. Yeah, so all you have to do is essentially drag the yellow knobs to the right. I just wanted to see if I could test your knowledge on exponential graphs. So we have this clip rotating right. You did a pretty good job. And now- That was literally all me. <laughs> <laughs> that was literally not you. I did all that. Study looks so cute here, right? Okay. No. He looks worried. What's wrong with you? So now this next clip has to come out of the rotation, right? Yeah, it's so, like Simba there. Simba? Yeah, like the Lion King. Now I want you to have this come out of the rotation. So do you remember how we get to the rotation? Yeah, you click rotation bar. No, 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 okay. No, 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 wait. There's so many things to look at. R. Yes, exactly. These are all different photos, right? So this cor this one corresponds to this picture of Sunny, and then this one corresponds mm. to this picture of Sunny. I'm so tired. Can you need to stop yawning. I'm so tired. So if this is going from zero to fifty, what do you think this has to start out at? Fifty. No. Zero. Think about a rotation. It's like we're doing a three sixty, right? It's a three ten or whatever. No, I'm horrible at explaining this. This is what it looks like if we do it at fifty and then end at zero, yeah, and then you're gonna see it. how it's wrong. Literally nothing wrong with that. That's that's not a rotation. It's just a little like side jab. Like. Oh, okay, I see it. No, you don't. You're such a liar. I know. I actually <laughs> do see it. It goes like badoom. I mean, badoom. Is it in the range of 360? No. Currently. What? Okay, think about sine. The sine. I don't know what that means. Positive, negative. Uh, I was thinking like cosine, tangent. No, 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 not that. Is, should, so should it be positive or negative? I have no po negative, positive. I have no idea. If it's, it's literally if, a circle. If it's positive. <laughs> right now and I'm questioning whether you should change the sign what do you think it should be negative it should be negative what I think the app yeah negative 50 do you, but do you understand why no okay basically uh, you're, you're just going <laughs> along with that I, I believe you no I want you to do the keyframe process by yourself so I'm deleting this so oh. yeah so starting off at the beginning of the clip add your first keyframe you forgot to click the thing oh yeah the easy easy or the clock that's what I did. You fully did not. Yeah. Hold on to this little blue thing. Okay. And then drag it forward. Keep going to the end of the clip. Back back one frame. Now we have to bring it back to zero. So how do we bring it back to zero? I don't know. What? Just click zero here. Click there and type in zero. I, I don't know. I feel like you're making this no, way no, no, harder no. than- I, I, I didn't know if it's saved or not. You I mean, know what I mean? No, you see the keyframe is there. All right, I did it. So now you have your two keyframes. Now easy ease them. I, I just know for a fact you don't remember No, this. I do, I do. Actually pretty good. Okay, now where do we go? Uh, I feel like we have to go like up here and then do the thing like because of the triangles. What triangles? Look at, look at, wait, wait, how do, how do I? These. Oh, yeah. the motion tile. Okay, yeah. drag it in. To this? Yeah. Do you remember what to change it to? I think you did like 250, right? Yeah. And then last thing you have to. This, right? Oh, wow, that was really good. I know. Okay, now where do we go? Click on one of the keyframes, doesn't matter which one, and then go to the graph editor. Now we want this clip to start off really fast and then slow down as it's coming up. But how do you think it's gonna change this time? If we want it to start fast and go slower at the you end. Did you see the opposite of what we did? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. That was pretty good. So if you were no to put- biggie. No, you, you, I know you were thinking about that so long and hard. That was on me. <laughs> did you think it was good? <laughs> yeah. You should do a slide transition all by yourself. All right. 
Do I click slide? There's not a single button. Why is it slide? scale? Oh no, P, right? Yeah, P. Okay. Yeah, what is this picture? Why? He was licking himself. Fun fact, Alex does not really like the dog. I don't. I thought I, you were gonna I, be like, what are you saying? I love him. I like him, but he's just a little, he's a little too much sometimes. Fun fact, Alex is 19. It's not really a fun fact. <laughs> what else is this? It's, it's a fact, it's not really fun. Fine, fun fact, Alex. No, just fact. Fun fact, you're just not really that fun of a person, I'm not gonna lie. Fun fact, Alex fun. really wants to drive himself to Delaware, but he can't. I'm going to right now. <laughs> After this video, I'm going to Delaware. Anyway. Alright, let's go back to the slide. Okay, yeah. So, so you have your first keyframe. Now you have to add your second one at the end of the clip. Yeah. There are two position values. One of them controls the vertical position, and one of them controls the horizontal position. So if you want to do a, if you yawn one more time, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 So that's the horizontal, right? Yeah, that's good. Do the easy ease. It's the only thing I'm good for. I hate how there's like a sliver of ankle that I can see right now. No, not on camera. I'm just looking at it. My ankle. Yeah. Don't look at my leg. I'm looking at your leg. Okay. Now what? The black stuff. Ooh. It's literally right in your face. Yeah, I got it, I got it, chill. Don't tell me to chill, that's so rude. Dude, you're coming at me, it's so aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> You could do tile if you want. I don't know what that means. You, you see the where the you tile? just clicked mirror edges? Yeah. Unclick it. You could do that if you want. Or do you like that? <laughs> do you not want to see me? I, I like that way better. Okay, so now what do we do? <laughs> Stop! I'm, not, <laughs> don't put that in. I'm putting don't put that, that in. in. I'm putting that in. I'll keep that in. I'll do Corvette. Corvette, Corvette. What? What are we doing? I just told you, graph. So this is going yeah. into a transition. So exponential. What did you just say? Exponential. Exponential. That was actually really good. So like you didn't have a problem with that. So clean. Okay. But I see the whole thing. I want to see what I've done so far. Yeah. So you bring it back to the beginning and you print. <sighs> that was a call. <laughs> like shut up. And then you press the space bar. Ooh. No. Yeah. That was pretty good. He looks so cute there, right? No. So how do you get to position? You click the P. On your keyboard. <laughs> what? Don't ever do that again. If you're sliding to the left, then this gotta be low, right? Don't make the same mistake you made last time. Don't do the boing. You want it to go like all the way through instead of like, whoop, bounce back. Don't call me, sorry. Hello? Yeah, I did the negative 550. Did I do good? That, you push it to the left, right? Yeah. And if you push it to the left, you're gonna get the boing effect again. I'm so confused. But you should start towards the right. I so I should make it like 900. Did you say nine hundo? Yeah, that's pretty good. Keep going. You know what to do. No, I don't. What? 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 <laughs> you have to add another keyframe. Look back at it. Add another keyframe. <laughs> <laughs> Bring Sunny back to the center. Just drag it back. Bro, you should have just said that. I honestly forgot about it. I'm not gonna lie. Now do your thing. The only thing that you can really do. No, uh, I messed it up. And I was like, bye, bye. Yeah, stop. <laughs> stop. I can't add any like actual music to this because I get copyrighted. All right, let me do this motion top. Okay. Be quiet. <laughs> did you swallow? Yeah, what? I did that on purpose. Who's swallowing? That was like a cartoon, like swallow. Wait, look. Okay, you did it. Little so honey, now, stop. how am I little honey? Okay, now click and go. Oh, 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 oh,